welcome to my channel if you're new here. Welcome back if you aren't. My name is Sabrina and we will be going over one of the main reasons why I created this channel in the first place and one of my favorite things in the world basically. So today we're gonna just be talking about fashion. I'm just gonna be going over some of my personal favorite fashion tips that I take very seriously. <laughs> As you guys may know, I have a very like distinct sense of style. Like whenever you see me, you see pink, you see Hello Kitty, you see some sort of like 2000s fashion element incorporated into my outfits like almost all the time. So a lot of you guys have been asking how I dress, where I shop. And today we're about to just get down into it. I wrote down everything that you guys need to know and i'm about to get you guys together real quick and we're gonna be it girls this fall a lot of these tips you'll find you can like incorporate into each season so, so what do you think about the bangs is it giving onika i really like this hair so if i touch it a lot you guys i'm sorry it's a habit <laughs> i would also like to say that even if you don't have like my same sense of style i hope that this video can still inspire you to take some element and incorporate it in your own way because i think that's what like expression through clothes is all about like you don't just look at somebody and replicate them so yeah this is just what i do and you guys can do with that information whatever you would like i have everything written down in this cute little my melody notebook and I wrote some bullet points so yeah y'all we're getting serious we're about to get to business well, my first tip is when you shop always scan through the pink items it just makes everything so much easier this is especially important when thrifting which i thrift a lot as we know i will always go to where i see the most pink scan through it if i find something then yay <laughs> If I don't, then oh well, like then I'll go on to the next colors. But I always prioritize the pink sections. And I don't know, it just makes me feel more like motivated to shop. Like I don't like doing it slowly, checking each item individually. Like no, I'm going straight to pink because I know that's what I wear the most. <laughs> Why even waste time with the other colors? Like the next tip I have is to always, always, always shop. For more mini skirts you literally cannot have enough mini skirts it just makes such a girlier impact on your outfit when you decide to put on a skirt instead of jeans or tights or sweatpants but there's ways you can style a mini skirt in the winter like they're not just a summer item y'all like that's why they make tights and honestly when you layer with skirts i think that's when they look the cutest like mini skirt tights leg warmers that combination is killer. So the main place that I shop and get all my mini skirts from is the thrift store, but I specifically will go to the children's section because they have the absolute cutest girly type of skirts. Usually when you go to the adult sections, like you'll find like the grandma, long knee length skirts. Like we're not wearing those y'all, we just aren't. <laughs> I mean, if you are wearing them, good for you, but this video is not for you because we like the skirts with the frills, with the bows, the pinks. That's the type of stuff we came for. And those tend to be in the kids section. So, and a lot of the times they'll be fitting like adult sizes. Like if it's like an XL, 14, 16 and kids, then like that's a small, medium in adults. My next tip that I have is to add ribbons everywhere. <laughs> I'm talking belt hooks purses tie them on your earmuffs tie them on the strap of your shirt put them in your hair like it's just such a cute and girly touch and honestly i love them so much they're cheap you can choose so many different patterns so many different colors i'm gonna put some pictures of ways that i incorporate ribbons into my outfits so that it doesn't you know so it's not just words these are real tips that i follow so i want you guys to see how you can make use of them. For example, yesterday I had a plain white skirt and I took a pink ribbon and I tied it and boom, it was a whole new skirt. They're just the perfect add-on accessory and I think they give like new life to items that you like, for example, already worn before. For the fall, my new favorite thing is to add ribbons onto earmuffs. I think it's such a cute idea. For example, I have these plain black earmuffs, but once I attached my pink little ribbon on them, they just, 
got a thousand times prettier. So I highly recommend incorporating ribbons into everything you wear. On to the next. My next tip is the beauty supply store and the craft store are your best friends period <laughs> the craft store you can get like any type of ribbon designs you want go to hobby lobby they have all of the ribbon you can imagine all the lace that you can imagine and if you're somebody who knows how to sew that's even better because i would be transforming my clothes way more than i already do now and the beauty supply store has some of the cutest accessories in the world like most of the stuff that i find accessory wise is from the beauty supply store when you go to like usually when they have like a children's section they have bows and those are the bows that i use to like do everything like i'll detach the part that clips to the hair and like use it to diy something completely different so and another thing about the beauty supply stores and i'm not talking about like sally's i'm talking about the private owned beauty supply stores that have been there forever <laughs> with all the wigs and the mannequins that's what i'm talking about most of the time they like literally probably haven't looked for new stocks since like the early 2000s so like when i go there i always see like baby fat knockoff jewelry juicy couture knockoff jewelry they're like really out of date but it works in your favor if you're into like the 2000s type of fashion so my next it girl style tip is platform boots y'all they are so cute they always make a statement and if they're pink that's a plus i literally sprained my ankle yesterday wearing those platform boots i don't know if i should be telling y'all this when i'm trying to encourage you to wear them but <laughs> just be careful when you wear them because they are super cute and they just make you feel like a brass doll like i feel like platforms are crucial these are the demonia camel 311s these are my favorite pair of platform boots in the entire world you guys like i feel like fur can really just take a shoe to the next level and even if those boots aren't your style demonia has so many cute boots like these were my very first pair and they're just super chunky and holographic and they're like this latex type of texture if the whole brad doll thing is your thing then i definitely highly recommend getting you some big chunky platforms to make your outfit look insane in the best way <laughs> so my next favorite clothing item that i feel like is super important to this style is low-rise jeans low-rise jeans are they've been making a comeback for like a couple of years now honestly i've been on that wave i just think they're so much more flattering to like the belly area versus like high-waisted jeans where you just have a whole piece of cloth like going all the way up to your chest like no shake i just love how they fit how you can like add charms to them and especially if you have a belly ring like if you attach like cute little danglers to your low-rise jeans it's just a whole fashion moment there like there's just so much room for accessorizing them and it's even better if you have like a cute pink or like animal print belt to accessorize them with and like i said earlier like you can even tie ribbons to like the sides of the belt loops of your low-rise jeans to just give it a whole new girly look so yeah i also recommend adding keychains to your purses it's just so fun to do and it's so cute at the same time like as you can see i added my melody on my juicy bag and it honestly can make a whole outfit look way more fun and cute so yeah i definitely recommend doing that they usually have like plush danglers at target um i got this one from amazon they're like everywhere online if you just look up whatever character you want definitely invest in those and change up your purses like i think a main theme of this video is shopping for like cute little accessories and charms that you can attach anywhere i think the little details make all of the difference another fashion tip i have for you guys is to shop secondhand as much as possible and it doesn't just have to be through like the thrift store like there's apps there's like poshmark mercari depop facebook marketplace like definitely utilize those apps you guys because i'm telling you you will find that you save so much money doing this i also feel like through shopping secondhand your style just gets more unique as a whole like you're not just buying something that's like on a website being mass produced at that very moment like you're gonna find things that date way back to before you were even born that 
you wouldn't have even known we're out there and i also find through shopping secondhand like this might just be a personal thing because i'm like a mushy person but the people tend to be really sweet like i find a lot of older ladies that have like the same sort of fashion that I do now that are like getting rid of their collection from years ago. So that's just such a cool plus to it all. Like it just feels so much more human. I love Juicy Couture bags. I love old Hello Kitty items. And I think I find so many of my favorite items through like older women who were actually like there in the early 2000s when they were like juicy couture stores and things like that. They just always have the best passed down. It's like we're carrying down the tradition for them in a way and I just love that so much. My next style tip is to visualize exactly how you want to dress. And when I say this, I mean go on Pinterest, look for images that slightly align with your style. They might not even be like 100% your style, but if there's something that you like from a picture, like allow yourself to kind of like build a collage. Slowly start taking elements of what you like from the pictures you see and incorporate them into your everyday outfits. Like I think that's the thing with aesthetics. People get really hung up on like what's this aesthetic am i part of this aesthetic am i girly am i grunge am i y2k like throw all that out the window for two seconds like yeah they're good indicators for like your general idea of how you want to dress but don't be afraid to make a mood board that doesn't make any sense at all like because that's when you will really start like setting trends and becoming your own individual Pinterest has just really like helped me so much in my journey of finding my style. Like I feel like if you can't visualize something, or at least this is how I am, like if I can't see the vision, I won't be able to execute it properly. And while we're on the topic of Pinterest, I'm actually going to make a Pinterest board specifically designed for this video. Just to show you guys like examples of each tip that I'm giving you. You can take elements from it and incorporate it into your own style or you can follow it strictly. It's completely up to you. but. I'm just gonna do that to give you guys ideas because that's what I'm here for. So my next tip would to just be to stock up on clothing basics and I mean like long sleeves, tank tops, bralettes, things like that. Like just stock up on them, even just plain old jeans because like I said, the real magic happens when you start to add charms, add ribbons, deck them out in your own personal way. The same goes with layering. Like for example, I'm just wearing this plain long sleeve tee that I got in my last thrift video and I put this super cute basic lace cami underneath it and if I switch it out or wear them individually, like they're gonna be completely different items. So definitely just focus on getting pieces that you can re-wear don't buy clothes with the intention of wearing them one time. Definitely buy clothes with the intention of transforming them and wearing them even better than you did the last time. That's like the words I go by. <laughs> like if I wore something once already, the next time I wear it, I'm gonna wear it again, but I'm gonna wear it even better, even cuter. I'm just gonna restyle it completely. So yeah, definitely buy clothes with that in mind. I feel like when you like really peek with your fashion sense and your wardrobe, you'll realize that it's a quality over quantity thing. It's not about like having the most clothes because eventually you're not gonna have anywhere to fit them. I feel like it's more about having quality pieces that you can wear differently every single time. So I'm not completely there yet, but we can get there together y'all. So the final essential tip slash girly fashion item that I think is essential are knee-high and thigh-high socks. I find most of mine on Amazon in Hot Topic and they're just super super cute with a mini skirt. I feel like the trio that you'll see in most of my outfits are like thigh highs, platforms, and a mini skirt. That's like the triple threat right there. <laughs> if there's one thing you take away from this video is realize how powerful that combination is. It's just super, super cute. It can almost never go wrong as long as the colors are right. 
I feel like they're especially cute when they have like bows on the front or like lace details. They're like the perfect girly touch to any outfit. So yeah, those are pretty much the main fashion tips that summarize my entire style. And I hope this video gave you guys a good idea of how to start dressing more girly. This is like my first like sit down type of style video. So I hope it was good, you guys. I have a sprained ankle, so the options are kind of limited right now as to what I can film. But I hope you guys loved it. I mean, I enjoyed giving you guys some tips. Definitely let me know if these tips were useful at all. And yeah, just remember to stay true to what you like. And yeah, I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.